Among Us is just a friendly game full of imposters and deduction, right? WRONG! It's a horrifying game full of murder, blood, and distrust, and these stories will tell you why. Greetings gamers and welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Connor Monroe and this is the Top 10 Among Us Creepypastas Part 3. Let's do it. In a 10, the first imposter. Somehow, there are seven of us. We've been sent to a new planet, which we're calling Polis, in order to colonize it. There were six of us on that ship, three men, three women, for the purposes of repopulation. But I don't know how I counted seven of us on that ship when it took off. This new crewmate is in a red spacesuit, and I can't help but be suspicious. They say that they were shy and honestly don't know why they're here since they don't have a partner, but I guess it's so they can reproduce with our children? They sound fairly young, but it's still weird and I don't approve of it in the slightest, and Mira has some odd ideas and maybe thought of this last minute as a way to prevent inbreeding? Whatever. We landed on Polis, and the outpost Mira used robots to help set up is already ready, but in need of some serious repairs only humans can do, so we divvy out the tasks and get to work. We all clock in using our cards, but Red is off to work, saying he doesn't need to clock in since he was a last minute addition and they didn't have a key card ready in time. Of course Mira wouldn't be prepared. They're incredibly incompetent and inconsiderate. How are we supposed to repopulate if we're all standing in the same room? Just as I think that, I hear the sound of a pistol loading, and before I can turn around, boom. In a 9 trial, let's just throw him out. What? Why? If he suffocates, he was human. If not, he's an alien. Well, what if aliens also need oxygen to breathe? If that was the case, why would they have sabotaged Doro 2? He has a point. No! If we throw him out without being sure, how are we supposed to rationalize that? There's one of him and five of us. If it's not him, we still outnumber it 4 to 1. That's not enough. It's killed four of us already. We need to try. If it's them, we're all safe. If not, then we just need to throw someone else out. That's stupid, not to mention suicidal. Hey, uh, guys, you know I can hear you, right? Okay, chuck him. What about you, Yellow? You think you should go? You fools, I say, as I take up my knife and show them my tongue. Hala. And it ate seeing double. The day was just like any other. Finished school, got home, and instantly started playing games with my friends. I was grounded, so I shouldn't have been playing, but I can't help it. They need me. They're idiots without me. Anyway, that day we were playing Among Us, a game that had recently started trending online, creating a wave of distrust and anger between friends. Just our kind of game. Like Mario Party, but more personal. In the game, there are up to 10 players, known as crewmates, and one to three imposters. We only had seven people, so we were playing with one. I was the imposter, and I was super stoked, but that would soon become the worst day of my life. The imposter is basically a shape-shifting alien that wants to murder everyone. With that in mind, let me tell you how it came out of my game and took over my life. I was playing as the imposter and there were four people left including me. My friend suspected me, but I said I'd bet my life on the fact that Jared, Lime, would be the imposter. And if I'm wrong, they can vote me out, knowing damn well that I would just kill one of them before they could. They voted out Lime and I was left to win the match, but instead my screen went black. I wasn't able to do anything, and then my power cut out. I was looking at my reflection in the monitor when I saw it smile. I wasn't smiling, but it was, like in a horror movie. What I can only describe as a grimace that was so evil I felt my skin crawl, and then it vanished. I blinked and my reflection came back, but it was normal. I thought it was a weird trip, so I decided to go downstairs and see if my parents could get the power back, but when I did, the power got turned back on, and my family was eating at the dinner table. With me. They turned around and the other me yelled, IMPOSTER! And then they charged at me, and everything went black. And at 7, TO THE MAX! Right? The maximum amount of players in Among Us is 10. There's no way you can get more than that into a game, but for some reason there was a public lobby allowing for over 600 players. I didn't understand it, figured it would be a hacker, but I joined anyway, curious as to how this would be possible and what would happen because of it. I join in and there's only a few spots left. The first thing I noticed is that the lobby itself was packed and I couldn't even see my character, and that there were many duplicate colors. I guess that it will make it more interesting, but 1000% more difficult. Difficult. When the last player joined the game loads, and I see the full lobby has 666 players. Being raised in a religious household, that number instantly set off alarms. I tried to leave the game, but it wouldn't let me, and the kill cooldown was only 10 seconds, probably to accommodate the amount of players. I was a crewmate, but didn't really want to be in this match, so I stood at the top of the cafeteria waiting to be killed, but they never came. They killed everyone else. I even said in a meeting that I would be a free kill, but nobody ever came. As the group got smaller, the the noises became more apparent. The growling, the yelling, the screaming, as if we were all in hell. And at 6, the goo. 
Some people wonder what the imposter is. Most figure a shapeshifter, which is probably true, but if that's the case, what's the imposter's true form? I found this out the hard way and needless to say, it's not pretty. It was a late night during the summer, close to when school would start, and I was playing in a public lobby since my friends had gone to sleep. I was doing all three tasks at the back of electrical when I see something come out of the vent. It wasn't human. It looked more like a sludge. I ran as fast as my little crewmate legs could carry me, but wound up getting sealed in. As I did, the sludge shifted back into a crewmate. They instantly killed me and sludged their way back into the vent, but now I see why they did that. They didn't play a vent animation when that happened. There was no sound either. They turned into goo so that they wouldn't be traceable. They continued this way for the rest of the game. They clearly won, but I never saw someone use that trick again. Was it a hack, or was it something more? Halfway through at number 5, Experiment. Everyone wants to find the lore of Among Us, and the real reason we can't is because there isn't any. It's quite simple. We set up a fake space voyage for a group of five individuals. These individuals are of an alien race, Kerfabulon, which has recently had a hold over various governments here in the United States. We sent them out to these missions to slowly eradicate their race. The Kerfabulons are known for not working well in groups. Well, known to us, not you. And we've sent them there with the explicit purpose of having them perish. At least a couple are sure to crack and start killing the others, and then we can kill them before they quote unquote return. There have been a few instances where the individuals have been able to throw out the ones committing the murders, and if this occurs we let them return safely, since they appear to no longer be the savages they once were. It's a foolproof plan, really. The only thing that can ruin it is if someone blabbed. Well anyways, gents, fire. And at 4 VR. Among Us in VR is one of the most terrifying things. It's like any other horror game, but it's your friends doing the scaring, not the game itself. The back of Electrical is the worst place to be, and the devs even made the lights flicker back here so that no matter what, it's still even worse. The grind is still the same though. You go around doing your task, watching out for people, and trying not to be killed. But when you do get killed, it's horrible. They play a loud noise and force your character to turn around to see the assailant. But recently, a couple nights ago, I saw one kill that made me never want to play this game again. I was in medbay and I had just finished a scanning, when the doors closed and Reb popped out of the vent. They, come o they came over and stopped for what felt like a smile and then killed me. But this kill was different. They pushed me to the ground, kicked my head, and then plunged their knife into my chest. I was dead at that point, but the animation continued. They stabbed me more and more, eventually up to 11 times, and then used their knife to cut my body in half, explaining why the bottom half remains, and then brought the top half into the vent as the doors opened. And 3, Third Imposter. I'm not good at Among Us. I always end up trusting the wrong people somehow, even with my friends who I know so well, well enough to not trust. But I still manage to get it wrong. This always bites me in the butt, but not as much as it did a few hours ago. I was playing a game with my friends when a random managed to join. I guess they matched the keyboard and ended up with our code. We were instantly suspicious of them, and just planned on voting them off because we didn't know them and wanted them to leave. Once we voted them though, it said that they were an imposter. But then the imposter role got switched to me. I saw the sabotage button and the kill button, and even saw my friend's name in red. They were as confused as I was because at the beginning of the round, I was a crewmate. But we went about our new business, killing everyone we could. When the round ended, we ended up winning, but the win screen only had the one who joined. Not me, and not even my friend who was the imposter originally with the rando. They said in chat, thanks for the juice, and then left. I've never found someone with the name trajectory since. And it too, the child. No, this isn't about Baby Yoda, but rather about the Baby Brown that was left behind thanks to that wretched Cyan. I was brown. I was doing wires and electrical with my son, Junior. He wanted to be just like me. He wanted to learn everything I knew. I loved it. With his mother being gone, I was all he had. And having him want to be like me instead of worrying about his mother always made me wake up in the morning. Now, when I was doing wires, I heard some footsteps behind me. I turn around and see Cyan with a tongue the size of a python coming out of its stomach. Everything went cold, and he took my body to the cafeteria, saying that he had just found it. My main concern was my son. He had been looking at something shiny and decided to pick it up. But when he wanted to show me, I wasn't there. He remembered that I always told him that if he gets lost, to stay still. So he just sat down, waiting for me to come find him. This is why I'm afraid to ever have children. What the f***? Why are you so cruel? Finally, in the number one, Among Us. I never expected to play a real life game of Among Us, but that was just what my life has turned into. It's like Clue and Among Us had a weird demonic baby with my life. 
My friends and I all live in the same house. Kind of like a frat house, but we're not typically seen as morons. We had just finished a game of Among Us and I'll head out to the kitchen to get the pizza Mike ordered. But when we get there, Mike was dead. He was the first killed in game, so he was able to get the food, but then that left the question, which one of us did it? There was one person who died second, so we figured that it was Clarence, but we called the cops and they let him go. Now I'm sitting here with the rest of them, in what feels like the world's longest staring contest. Where do we go from here? And will they notice the blood stain on my leg from the knife that I forgot to wash off? There we have it friends, the Top 10 Scary Among Us Creepypastas Part 3, with a depressing one thorn into the mix. Thank you all so much for watching, I have been and shall remain Connor Monroe, and I'll see you in another video. Red is sus. And to the max, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wizards of Waverly Place reference. Uh, I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs>